Hey guys, TechX here. So we got a build video, or more or less a repairing video. So a couple weeks ago, I put out the um, MJX Bugs Blue Bugs 3, and um, <laughs> I put out the review for it, and I end up breaking it um, a week or so ago, uh, more like two or three weeks ago actually. And I've been waiting for the part to come in. Um, I purchased this part off of Amazon. And so, since um, it didn't come with Prime shipping, it took forever. So just to give you a heads up, the part that is linked in the description is, um, for me at least, took about uh, three weeks to get here. So just to give you a heads up. So pretty much, here's my quad. I tried gluing it. I mean, this is without the top and without this, the battery holder here in the back. Because I took that off, trying to basically figure out what, um, how this thing goes together. It's pretty simple here. Um, basically, I'm not sure if you guys can see that too. Yeah, I can see that already. Um, there's a crack running all up, along the side. Um, real quick, here's the footage from um, when I crashed it. So, yeah, pretty interesting footage there. Um, it might be kind of hard to tell, uh, I'm not sure, but for me, I know I know where it was. So, anyways, I have the quad. Um, just some basic things to start taking off before you start um, disassembling this. This is just to give you guys an idea. I'll get to that in a second. But you're just going to pull off the pull off the battery holder, four screws. One, two, three, four. This, uh, the antenna, pops out. But the case, the black case here, is held on. I'm not sure how easily you'll be able to see it. Let's see if we can pull this ESC out of the way. It's held on by, it looks like just one screw right there, that tiny little guy. So you have to take that out. Um, then you can pop out that black thing there, the antenna holder. Um, when we when you get to the arms, all you're gonna do is unscrew these two screws for the landing gear. Then you're gonna unscrew the two screws on the light, and then you're gonna get to something that looks like this. It's just sitting in there. Well, I mean, the wire, the wire's going through to the circuit board. But just disconnect that, which is right here, right here. Pull that one out. Pull this one out. This wire to the front goes right here. Pull that out. There's your video cable right there. Um, then to pull out the two backlights, just gonna pop this one out here. Pop this one out here. And those are all the quick disconnects. That yeah, those are all the quick disconnects. Now to free your battery port up, just gonna pull this little black piece off. This clips on there. Just take a sturdy piece of metal, push down in those two holes, and that thing will pop off. So now to get the motors off, I'm gonna unscrew these four screws here um, on each of these, on each of the motors. Then that'll loosen your motor up. Next step, after you solder, sorry, not solder, after you unscrew everything, everything's just loose. You should be able to cut away a little bit of this heat shrink, I believe it is, and you can get to the soldering ports. Make sure you take uh, plenty of pictures of your quad beforehand, before you start uh, taking it apart so you know what it looks like. Then that way you can just take off this wire, desolder this wire, uh, each of the three wires that go to each of the motors. If you notice, this has got yellow, red, black. This, uh, the opposite motor is yellow, red, black. The motor next to this motor up here is yellow, black, red. So that's just something to be aware of um, when you're taking it apart. 
Um, and then last step basically is to uh, unscrew these four screws here and you should be set. Uh, make sure you have everything labeled, everything set out, and cue the time lapse. Thank you. 